Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be taking a look at two video games in which Dutch Vanderlyn actually makes an appearance in. His voice actor did an interview a couple of months ago where he revealed some pretty cool information about two appearances he makes in video games that you might not have known about. Okay, so I think it's pretty obvious that Dutch appears in Red Dead Redemption and, of course, in Red Dead Redemption 2. But you might also not have known that he makes appearances in two other Rockstar Games titles. He did an interview a couple of months ago in a conference or a Comic-Con or something like that in Kuwait with a YouTube channel, PlayStation Middle East. And I'll actually let you guys take a listen to that interview right now. Um, you know, that, like, the Rockstar Games... Have you, uh, do you have a knowledge about the, the game industry, I mean? Oh, yeah. No, I had done, um, I had done voice acting mm -hmm. for a game called uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That's um, back in the day. Way That's back. Way back. Day, yeah. <laughs> but I was just a, a couple of pedestrians you'd ah, run into on the street. Okay. Um, and then I did uh, Red Dead, and then, uh, and then uh, I, did, I did L.A. Noir as well, but I was cut out of L.A. Noir, pretty much. Uh, for, for like a special reason or like oh i'm sure it was because i was terrible <laughs> so you know that you oh, admit it no. <laughs> um you i'm not that. sure I, I, who, who knows you get you, you work as much as you can and you get cut out as little as you can it's up to but them, yeah. Uh, yeah it's not you, up to you, you. Can't do that. No. okay so that revealed a lot of cool information and in case you're curious that right there is ben davis he is the voice actor and motion capture artist for Dutch Vanderlyn, and he revealed two interesting bits of information there, that he did voice work in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and L.A. Nuer. That is really awesome. So in case you guys are wondering who he is, let's first start in L.A. Nuer. Now his role in that game is very, very small. He's actually a simple car mechanic at Dewey's Car Sales, and his name is Paul Kartorowski. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, and he only says a couple of lines of dialogue. Take a listen to this. I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. Hey, which wiseacre used the half inch and didn't replace it? So can you guys see the similarities there? Well, in case you can't, let's take a look at a quick little cutscene for Dutch in Red Dead Redemption 2. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. You can clearly see that there's a ton of similarities there. It, even though the Ellie Nuer voice is kind of muffled because he's underneath a car, you can clearly tell that that is Ben Davis. How cool is that? Now, the next thing that he revealed that he was actually a pedestrian in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And this is kind of cool because, as you know, Rockstar, to make Grand Theft Auto feel more lifelike and realistic, even back in the San Andreas days, they gave the pedestrians and the NPCs a ton of lines of dialogue. And what this means is that pretty much any time you bumped into them doing a, a certain task, they would basically have a response to you. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a listen to basically all the lines of dialogue that Dutch has in GTA San Andreas. Excuse me, sir. Your vehicle appears to be in the way. Do be so kind as to move. Move your vehicle, please. Pardon me. You are creating an incident. You are not moving when you should be. Get out of the way. Do be careful. Excuse me. My fault entirely. Sorry. Please forgive me. If you would watch out. Take care. No broken bones. Oopsie daisy. Careful. Eyes ahead, please. The feel of bespoke tailoring is impeccable. A handmade shirt is second to none. I enjoy being measured by my tailor. Quality tailoring 
makes the man. Feel my garment and touch quality. It's impossible to mass produce clothing well. I keep my tailor in a box at home. Bespoke tailoring is my health insurance. I love to travel. France is so lovely. Oh, that museum. Yes, of course. I know. Trust funds for everyone. I can't believe my nose. You smell like shit, sir. Did someone pass gas? Who cut the cheese? The body is not a canvas. Someone, um, tagged your body, sir? There is graffiti on your body, sir. Tattoos are for heathens. This weather is most disappointing. Why can't someone in this state fix the weather? I dreaded going outside in this weather. Terrible weather. Very good, sir. I'm sorry to have opened my mouth. Pardon me for breathing. Ah, I see. You snooty bastard. Might I sniff you again, sir? You smell like Copenhagen. You smell exquisite. You remind me of spring. Your tattoos hint of the noble savage. You must love the prick of the tattoo needle. That tattoo makes me yearn for my youth. Tattoos remind me of my service days. Glorious day. Glorious. Not a cloud in the sky. Heavenly weather. It's a veritable wonderland outside. My motorized penny farthing. It appears you have collided with me. What do you think you're doing? That's my bicycle, you idiot. Perhaps your vision is impaired. Never mind, sir. I will buy another. I can afford another. Have you considered spectacles? I'm on my way to the symphony. Oh, dear. My goodness. What an impediment. Don't worry. No problem. That's all right. Bastard. You low-tax bracket bastard. Easy. Maniac. Lunatic. Menace. Crazy. Wild. Riffraff. You're sick. You're Dangerous! Poor swine! Nothing but the usual high grade, please. Your highest quality, please. I need something to keep me polite. I would like to get stoned, please. Your finest narcotics, please. Your most expensive weed, please. The stickiest of the icky, please. You're quite strong, aren't you? You do fill out those garments well. Your devotion to fitness is admirable. I see you take pride in your appearance. Violence is a last resort. You have forced me into action. Regrettable, but necessary. Reason, obviously, won't work here. There's only one way to solve this. I am prepared to fillet you. You have forfeited the rules of fair play. I can scrap. No time for a duel. Now, now. That's not a toy. Please exit in an orderly fashion. Turn around and go, sir. I'm the prey in your deadly game? Run along to your playpen now. Goodness gracious! Will I never be careful with those hands? My word! Please be more gentle. Can I help you? What do you want of me? May I be of some assistance? Don't wrinkle me! That's the way the cookie crumbles. I hope he returns it afterwards. Take some money for petrol. I'll wait here until he gets back. Don't injure yourself. Careful, the wheel's a bit stiff. What an injustice. My solicitor shall be in touch. I'm going to alert the authorities. I'll call the constable. Please return my property. Crime doesn't pay, young man. If you'll excuse me, I must ask for my vehicle back. Perhaps a taste of your own castor oil. This property is not yours. I'm sure you'll get very far in life. You're quite the intellectual. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Keep it real. Very good, sir. Don't get arrested. Oh, Word. Perhaps you want something of mine? There are many things I can give you. Take whatever you wish. You want a donation? Agreed. Most regrettable. Yes. Very bad indeed. Yes. Truly unfortunate. Agreed. Disgraceful. Yes. Most assuredly. Agreed. Yes. Quite. Yes. A certainty. I think not. No. Assuredly no. An emphatic nay. Absolutely not. Once again, you have floored me with insight. How very incisive. You fool. Madam. How do you do, madam? Greetings. Sir. How do you do, sir? A pleasure, madam. Take care, madam. Goodbye, madam. Enjoy yourself. Yourself, sir. With respect, sir. Goodbye, sir. You enjoy going to Glory Hole, I presume? Do you enjoy the program Law? Have you driven a grotty? Do you like the starfish? The show Law is very disappointing. San Andreas has lost its former class. I thought World of Cock catered to a better clientele. Sprunk tastes like dirt. This is a fine moment. I find ammunition supplies me well. Going to Glory Hole is rejuvenating. I've been on grin for days. I hope I didn't trouble you. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a bother. Thank you. You've saved my life. You are a gentleman and and a scholar. My word! Unbelievable! Bless my soul! Holy Cleopatra! Perhaps this? Oh, my word, no. I think not. This has possibilities. Perhaps in another color. These might suit my purposes. Maybe I'll buy ten. Very well. I'll take it. I wish to purchase this. Where do I pay? I should like to buy this. You, sir, are a menace. I regret stepping into this contrivance. My blind wolfhound drives better. Public transportation is rubbish. Chauffeur! Taxi! I say driver! You have injured someone! Oh my goodness! Did you notice that person? You've killed a poor person! Let's hit the road! Away we go! Make haste, young man! An outstanding ride! Thank you! A successful delivery! My person is intact! Thank you! A ride far above the norm! You excel at your craft, sir! A pleasure to ride with the best! I presume you have a destination in mind! I know a better route! This must be a carjacking! Don't forget the turn signals! Keep both eyes on the road!
Okay, so that was pretty awesome, right? That is Dutch's role in GTA San Andreas. He's just one of the pedestrians that you'll run into on the side of the road. And now that you know that, if you go back and play San Andreas, it will be impossible to not think of Dutch if you run across this NPC. So I found this to be incredibly cool and it's amazingly unique to see all the different roles that the motion capture artists and voice actors that worked on Red Dead Redemption 2 had in previous Rockstar titles. I mean, that's incredible. So you can tell that Rockstar really values experience when it comes to roles that they produce for their upcoming titles. Uh, I mean, that's three examples right there where characters in Red Dead Redemption 2 have worked on past Rockstar games, which in my opinion is awesome. So as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you know of any other instances of where, do you know of any other instances of this occurring in either the GTA series or the Red Dead Redemption series where characters share roles from the different titles? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.